Nothing better than a pair of crazy socks to put a smile on somebody's face and, of course, their feet. And, of course, their feet, yes. Yeah. Sacra Gray is here to tell us about a 16-year-old's goal to make every senior's day a better one, one pair of socks at a time. Good morning to you. Good morning. So I want everybody to play this mental game with me. Think about how you were when you were 16 years old. Mm -hmm. What were you like? I had a Jamba Juice addiction and I would sit in the parking lot with my friends. But <laughs> Elle here is putting us all to shame. All right? of our 16 year old selves to shame because she has already been in People Magazine for the work that she is doing. So Elle, tell us, you started Socks for Seniors. What was the idea behind this? So basically in seventh grade, we went to a facility to make these spring wreaths for about an hour and we had so much fun and they were so thankful and it was so small and that was right before COVID hit and when COVID did hit we felt like maybe they weren't seeing their family they would feel lonely maybe even depressed and in the end my favorite thing ever is silly socks <laughs> love them to death and I thought maybe a simple smile would bring their day, brighten their day, and then I put a pair of socks, my contact information, what I'm doing, and that's kind of how it started. And now they've actually begun reaching back out to you and you have some pen pals now, right? Yes, I have a lot of pen pals right now. I have, I get artwork from them. Um, sometimes they make me want, they want me to finish it or they want me to finish some of it and then they can finish the rest of it. So you complete it together. We complete it together over time. Oh, you. We mail it back. I think it's it's just the... It's, it's, and you can check out her the silly socks that she's yeah. got on her feet. So this is something that she already enjoyed and now she's bringing it to the seniors. And Elle, come over here and show us some of the stuff that you're packing up to ship off. I know we've got a bunch of stuff right here. So. Um, walk us through what a typical shipment or work day in your life looks like. So basically, we have so many socks, right? You can see that's just maybe not even half of them. Um, but we're going to LA next week. We're gonna go to MPTF and um, we're gonna send 250 socks. We're gonna hand deliver to them and it's gonna be amazing. Um, but they have reached out to us. They want us to tour their campus, their facility and this is our next order and they're getting these socks to all 50 states now guys i think this is far more impressive than a jamba juice addiction l is showing us she just got her driver's license and yet she's making such an impact like this l you're an inspiration to all of us so great <laughs> what a and, great story and how is that jamba juice addiction these days right <laughs> um, yeah, it's moved on to Starbucks now. <laughs> <laughs> Different kind of addiction.